As France tries to come to terms with the horror of Thursday night's events in Nice, investigators are still focusing on what drove Mohamed Bouklal to carry out such a massacre. Police continue to search the 31-year-old Franco-Tunisian's home. And French Interior Minister Bernard Cazeneuve has said evidence suggests the killer was radicalised very quickly. But some of Bouklal's neighbours remain sceptical. All I know is that this man has nothing to do with Islamists, with Al-Qaeda, Daesh and all of that. He has nothing to do with it. He's someone who drinks, smokes, steals, eats and works. He is separated from his wife. He lives alone in this neighbourhood. He's always on a bicycle. He goes to the beach like everybody else. He smokes hashish. He smoked hash. He stole bicycles. In Tunisia, in Buklal's hometown, relatives, including the 31-year-old's brother, expressed profound shock, verging on denial. Mohamed had a job. He's been married to my cousin for nine years. He went to France to work as a driver. He has two daughters and a son. He never told me that he'd do such a thing. Our family still can't believe what's happened. Buklal's father has said his son underwent psychiatric treatment in the past, but has insisted he showed no jihadist tendencies, only self-destructive ones.